Hello everyone, welcome back to Ocean Block. Uh, I am just doing the old going under here, getting the experience that is here. Because now what we can do is it's probably a waste of experience because I think it like one of these levels is the equivalent of like 30 levels, but I'm just gonna unlock a bunch of these because well, unlock three. But yeah, there you go. So now we've got three extra ones. I don't think I need any just leave this here because I keep getting one out but yeah I don't think we need any more like um, uh, well we do need more of these right to to do stuff that we want to do in the future but we haven't got any so we might have to go exploring at some point I'm gonna do that off camera because a bit boring just flying about although it is much easier for me to fly about now with uh, creative flight right uh, this way. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we can fly about easy enough. Uh, it's our death point. Oh, so many death points from last episode. Right, so what are we going to do this episode? I think this episode, well, I said last episode we were going to get into, that was it, blood magic. So we're going to do a little bit of blood magic this episode. I, I don't really want to get too far into it right now. But, yeah, we can at least get this altar going, right? So we've got the altar. That is a quest. Uh, I'm going to set it up right here for now. Have access to this. So we need one of those daggers. Blood sacrificial daggers. I think it's one of these. Dagger of sacrifice. This one. So with this, there's a tank there. You can see that there's a tank on it, but we can <laughs> take some of our shield. But that is filling this up, and that is like. Oh, it's draining as well. Why is it draining? Very weird. Uh, we need... Uh, I'm going to get like five or six of... Or how many buckets we can make of this. It's draining into that. In fact, we didn't even need to get that far into blood magic to just get these buckets of blood, right? So... That's not too bad. Yeah, lots of blood in there. I'm going to make four of these, yeah. Four buckets of blood. And then we can make four totem of the undying. Uh, do we only need one of these? Yeah, we do. For these shield module, like undying module things, we only need one. So it's not bad. Uh, and there's our four. The rest of this just, it was just draining away, I'm not sure why, but stop now, so that's fine. All 20 in there. Let's chuck these in here. Let's make a bunch of these. I actually don't know what these do, if I'm honest. I think, do you hold it in your shield slot and then it stops you from dying or something I'm no idea these came into Minecraft when I was like player modded it's vanilla right I don't really know vanilla that well like potions all of that sort of stuff not really my bag so let's make shield mod I swear I set up the recipes for these oh maybe I didn't okay let's make the recipes for those Upgrade that as well. We can't do these chaotic tier because we haven't killed this bloody chaos dragon thing yet, so it's a bit different. That one, and then that's the upgrade. What's that? Instant health. I have to do some more potion making. Ah, oh. uh, okay. Oh, I'll do it because I need to do it, but I don't like potion making, it's just so slow. Right, let's 
request a bunch of these things and then I'll be back. So for the instant health potions you need glistening melons so I am just growing some melons in here because I realised I didn't have any and I did get quite a bit of draconium essence although we don't really need that much now because we've got the sieve doing it for us right. Uh, should I have a bunch of bone meal, yeah we do. Stick that in there. And oh I put my time in the bottle away, did I put it in here? Yes I did. Let's grab these back out. Cool. Melons is what we wanted to see. Oh, do you have to break these by hand? That's so annoying. Cool. Nuggets. Listening melons, let's make two of these, because what is it to make this? Is it all proportions? Okay. Nether wart. This should be going up because I did set up a uh Hopper botany pot thing, a botany pot, yeah. Uh, water. Time in the bottle that. And I think it's glowstone. Instant health two. Uh, yeah, I had a couple of instant healths already, so yeah, I've got those in there now. So let's get some more modules. Uh, I did make a bunch of these, and I made a bunch of these already. That's pretty cool. Uh, it wasn't shield, what was it? It was the oh, hit when that happens. So. It was these things, undying modules. Let's make four of these. Why's that taking so long? Oh yeah, because I set up this recipe here thinking, oh, I'm never going to use this, but looks like we're using it quite a bit. And debris. Got loads of debris, so yeah, I think we're set on nether right now, which is nice to see. And there's our four of these. So, at least this is pretty stacked. Look how much there is in here. I might need to make a couple more of these energy capacitor things. But we can do something like that. And then these are two by two, did not realize. Okay, I made way too many of these. Uh, okay, in that case, I'm gonna make some more of these shield recovery things. Ah, uh, just wasted it. That's fine. Recovery. Wait, that was three. I needed two. Was it two? Yeah, just two. There's one, and there's two. So, I think this is more stacked out, which is good. kind of want to move these over. Nah, I'll leave it. Looks good though. Uh, we've got 1,000 shield now, which that was... Oh, wow. Look at our... Our power is a little bit suffering. Is this... I keep looking at these thinking that these will go down. What was that? Oh, cool. We've got the undying thingies right here. <laughs> nice. Okay, now we've made that, we should probably have a look at the bow. Set some stuff up for the bow and maybe the sword as well. Oh, okay, more crafting, BRB. I had to make a pattern for hay bales and targets because that's something that's needed for these here. So this target thing. Apparently that's in the game, did not know that was a thing. Maybe if you shoot that it does a redstone signal because it's got redstone in it. I don't know. But yeah, now we all we need to do is make speed potions and speed potions so it depends how many so the reason I went for these two is because the accuracy module increases accuracy and lowers velocity don't know what that means 
I think it's how quickly the arrow goes out there. But we need this to offset some of the damage stuff and the velocity. Yeah. So basically, I made I'll make these to offset the damage, and then I'll make these to offset the velocity loss that we've got from this. That makes sense. So it looks like one. Oh no, thirty-five, and this is five. I don't know, but anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll make a few of these and then uh, we'll see how good it is. And also I'll take some arrows with me next time. I have been timing and bottle these things and I think that's everything we need to make. I, I made like nine of them because it does three at a time, right? So we should be able to make... No, no, not that one. I want the upgraded one. So that's, I don't know. Let's make two. Okay, that only makes four, so let's make three. Should go off and make us three, lovely. And then we want a few of these, which I think we have everything for. We have got wheat coming in, I believe. Yeah, we've got some wheat. So let's just make the project. Which one is it? It's this one. Can we make three of these as well? We can, easy, cool. So let's chuck these in and chuck these in. And then I'm gonna make another couple of these damage thingies. 10 okay missing eight so available 12 so how many can we make of these let's do four so it looks like it's two per so we can make six of these cool and i am going to be a bit anal about this let's move these down move this one to here one, two, and three. Cool. Uh, not exactly sure how much damage this does now. Max damage is 62. Sweet. Right, next is the sword. I've just spent ages trying to figure these out, these brewers, because I couldn't be asked to do it all by hand, but yeah it's a bit above my head right now i think so i am just gonna i've got loads of awkward potions so i'm just gonna chuck everything in my storage for now and we'll do it manually oh, not my time in the bottle we are up to 81 hours now so it's quite a lot right uh we don't need this dagger on us anymore either so Grab every awkward potion out of here. It did get. I managed to get it to make some strength potions because we need these strength potions for the uh, damage modules for the sword. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna make them all by hand and then <laughs> just time in a bottle this thing. And then yeah, back when I've actually got a few of the damage things working these things because look these need strength two and strength one so figure that one out in a bit i think i've got something going here I'm not entirely sure if this will work but basically this is what i ended up with so it starts off up here i did put some strength potions in this one already it starts off up here I don't need this now i was thinking about using our hopper to just chuck them in but I've got exporter here. That's exporting water bottles. And it's got a upgrade crafting, crafting upgrade. That's pushing the water bottles in here. Uh, the water bottles are coming from the, this one. Our encapsulator has now got this. I had this before, but I'm not sure I showed it. Anyway, that's exporting 
water bottles into here. I'm going to put nether wart in here, which will export uh, awakened potion, awakened awkward potions. Uh, and this has got a whitelist, only awkward potions can come out of here. This goes into here, which will then feed into these slots here, which I'll put blaze powder. And the only thing that can come out of here is potion of strength, you know, the regular version. And that'll go into here. And then that'll fill up this bit. And then the only thing that can come out of this is, if I can grab it, there it is. Anything that isn't a potion of strength. So a potion of strength too will be fine. So let's see if this works. Let's do that. That. And then time in the bottle everything, because why not? So we're at 82 hours now, just ticked over. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that should be going along quite nicely, and we should be getting quite a lot of potion of strength twos. Uh, what I can do as well is set this to round robin, stick another draw right here. So half of them should go in here. I think it only gets one out of the two, which is not exactly what we want. It's fine. Oh, and time in the bottle has run out, but that's fine. So we want the other way around, really. We want... Oh, actually, what we can do is move this over one. Yeah, we can move this over one and then do nearest... No, because then it will go here first. Nightmare. We are wasting these as well. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. We're, this is how we're getting our potions because I could not be asked to set up the industrial foregoing version because I couldn't figure it out. Alright, it should have enough now to create at least five of these damage modules. Yeah. The limiting factor now is Dragon's Breath, which I didn't get enough of. But there you go, we've got five of them now. Let's go into this. Da, 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 da. Not exactly sure what else I can put in my sword. I think speed. Speed can go in the sword, right? Speed. Oops. Speed. Add. It's not an add-on, is it? It's a uh, module. Yeah, I think these can go in there. Oh, uh, more. More of these. Oh, my God. Okay, what I can do with this is kind of... Let's leave this. Do another, yeah, well, we can do another brewing stand. This just takes, so we stick that there, it should go in here as well. So I can set this to round robin. I should send some in here. Yeah, nice. And then, what is it, is it? Wait, is that making the awkward potions? Awkward potions, nice. So, what is it for speed add-ons? I think we only need it for this one, and then the rest is just upgraded versions. So, to make this one we need two, for this one we need four. So, we need eight of these per one of these. So, if we make four of these, we need 32, we need half a stack of swiftness potions. Bloody hell, okay. Uh, actually we need a pipe. And then we also need an upgrade. I haven't taught you the upgrades for the pipes yet. It's fine, we can just do it this way. We need this so we can tell it to only pull out certain things. So that means we can just, I think we can go something like this and then set this up. And awkward potions. Let's grab one out of there for now. We can set a blacklist and add that to the blacklist instead. 
And then if we get another draw. Stick that there. Should do everything we need. Now all I need to do is put some blaze powder in here. And some sugar. I think it's sugar. Swiftness, yes, yeah, just sugar. Nice. That goes in there, that goes in there. Take that away. Take all of these away as well. And time in the bottle this. One, two, three. One, two. What did I say we needed for this? We needed a half a stack. Oh, wow, these don't stack, do they? But like 32 of these is what we need. Thirty-two of these, we got thirty-two strength, thirty I think these only take thirty two stacks of stuff, don't they? So this is stopped. It's kinda good. Kind of what we wanted. So this basically will oh, okay, that's stopped already. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh wow, I'm out of um, wart. Uh, probably need a speed upgrade on this thing here. So grab all of these out. Stick it back in our system. Let's make a bunch more of these because why not? And now, oh, I haven't set the recipes up for these, but I will do. I'll do that off camera. Be right back. And it looks like we've got everything we need. Let's use another stars. Didn't realise that. It's fine, I've got loads of those. So now... Yeah, it doesn't even have like a bar or anything, it's just like, oh, you can kind of see it. If I do it... Something that's not white. Oh, maybe you can see it right there. Do you see that? That's super quick. Cool. Might be stacked enough to go up against the uh, Gaia Guardian again now. Um. I did want to, so I've never tried this. I didn't. I don't know if this is a thing. I want to try and get the like protection stuff. I want to see if you can put multiple protections on things. I don't think you can. I don't actually see any on here. Oh, projectile protection. Okay. So stick that in there. And let's pick one that doesn't have projectile. So it's helmet. Yeah, I didn't think you could put multiple project uh, protections on things, but. Worth a go. Take the helmet off. Trick it in here. Nope. Oh well. As I said, worth a go. Chuck that back in there. And... Let's get those apples out as well. And actually take one of these apples or eat these. Well, that's half a stack. It's premium, right? Yeah. Uh, we are going to go for... Oh, I didn't realise I left this going. Anyway. We are going to go for the um, Gaia first. No. I always, I always forget there's an extra A in there. So we need these and we need Terra Steel. We've got a few bits of Terra Steel now. It's good to see. Time to go die one more time. <laughs> To the Gaia before we realise that we should probably have something to protect us. Why is it raining? I'm going to wait for it to stop raining or wait for it to be night time so I can sleep and then it will stop raining. And then we'll be back. And we are back. So 
Let's put these on our bar, just so we remember. Although we had them on our bar last time, and we forgot. Uh, okay. And go. I forgot arrows. Oh my. Okay, this is a lot better. Where is he? Over there. Come here. Oh, a shield took a massive hit there, but that's fine. at me bruh. Actually please don't. Oh so close. Where are you? Over there. Hey! What? Oh over here. Oh all that loot that we got right there. Amazing. Right. First things first before we do anything. Taken again. Ah, oh, we got that one. Shame. Uh, let's dump everything in here for now so we can see exactly what we get. Rune of Lust. Okay. Totally an extra utilities ripoff. Okay. <laughs> Birds and the bees. Ah, oh, that probably makes animals do stuff together. We've got this mana diamond. All of these. Will of Darok. Craft with Terra Steel Helmet. Critical hits damage increases with lower HP. Ooh. Ha! Huh. That is a RuneScape reference, and I love that. I love RuneScape. So now we've got this dice and we've got this thing, which is quite interesting. If you've ever seen this, uh, what's it called? Key of the King's Law. So have you ever seen, I want to say, Fate Stay Night? Or I think it might be the Unlimited Blade Works version of it, but. Both both really good. Make sure you watch Fate Stay Night first and then Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works because Unlimited Blade Works is better. But it's still enjoyable to watch the original first and then see how good Blade Works is afterwards. I've always like suggested this to friends and stuff. Watch the one that's worst first. Otherwise if you go back and watch it afterwards you'll be like disappointed. You'll be like, wow, oh, the other one's so much better. It's like watching um uh, Full Metal Alchemist and then Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is what you should do because Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is so much better. Anyway, sorry, back to what this does. Uh, if you right click this and then you can shoot it, it will shoot loads of explosions. And the cool part is if I do this, this, and this, let's go up in the air a little bit. Uh, I don't want to be looking at my boats or anything because I don't know if it destroys stuff. But if I right click this, look at all of those things. That's so cool. Oh. And then it uses, yeah, it fires them like that. It's oh, amazing. Right. We are going to probably have to do that again. Okay, why is this going down? Shouldn't go down. And shouldn't we have wither resist? I think we do, but it's not showing up. Anyway, I'm gonna do 
a couple more of these Gaia fights. I'm going to go get some arrows as well. Actually, let's, let's grab some arrows. Oh, no, come back up. There we go. Yeah, grab a couple of arrows. Uh, I'm just going to put all of these away for now. Soulbound, okay. And yeah, a few more fights because I want to get a couple more of those dice that we just got this out of. Tanya dice, these things. It doesn't show what you can get in here, but it deals the cards to find the answer. Sacred geometry of chance, the hidden laws of probable outcome. The numbers lead a dance. Awesome. Vasky's a an amazing dev, honestly. Right, anyway, I'll go do a few more of these, get some more dice, and then I'll be back. If I find anything, and actually I'll show you how good the bow is. Oh wow, shot a load of them. Actually, if we do this, we can see how far the drop-off's not, not very bad anymore, which is nice. Uh, but we have got like ridiculous stuff. And this does 60 damage. Same as our our sword actually. Anyway, right, I'm gonna get to that and we'll be back in a sec. Right, there you go, just finished off another one. Uh, that gave us loads of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna fly back over here and drop a bunch of things off. Uh, loads of runes, I like that. I like that it gives runes because they're a bit of a pain to make. Overgrown seed, another Darok thingy, which is pretty good. Got to do the shader. Always got to do the shader. Sponsor. Nice. Uh, I did make a couple of these because, as I said, I was going to do a few of those. Cool. All right. Let's see what we get from the dice number two. Click. Ooh, Ring of Thor. One of these. Ring of Thor. There we go. The Ring of Thor bestows upon the wearer the might of the Thunder God. When equipped, it dramatically increases the Terra Shatterer's area of effect. And we don't have the Terra Shatterer, but that is a thing that we could get into. It's getting dark now, so I might have a sleep before I do my next fight. It feels good that we're actually getting somewhere with these like fights because last episode we just got absolutely creamed every uh, every time we tried to do anything. So I'm glad we're doing these. <laughs> uh, what was that as well? Greed runes. Ooh, what are they used for? Uh, nothing apparently. <laughs> Probably not implemented yet. That's fine. Let's chuck these away. I keep Lex Capitania on me just because I didn't even use the the key of the, the key of King's Law uh, because the bow is insane damage and it's a little bit easier to kill the dude with the bow. Anyway, let's get it going again. Right there we go. Just finished the second fight and uh, we keep getting these Darok pieces, which is fine, I suppose. Ooh, root of uh, Grissia? Gris... Aya. No idea what that is. Uh, we did bring the Britannia, didn't we? So we've got this. Mm, da, 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 da. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. So, this is like the, um, meat feeder that we've already got, but it uses mana instead. Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. I didn't know that was a thing. Maybe we should look up. Relic. Okay, so there's a few of these. Eye of the Flugel. Uh, we probably have to unlock that to find out. So, we need... So we've got these two. Uh, we've got these three here. We need three more and I think it's random so we might get duplicates but I suppose we'll find out 
Anyway, I'm going to go uh, tidy my inventory again. Actually, what we could do... We don't have to keep coming back over here. Uh, let's make... So we need three more of these, right? So let's just, yeah, make that. What we could do to make things a bit easier is let's get our ender pouch out. And then we don't have to keep coming back. It's nice. Right, a couple more of these. And I'm going to get rid of that death marker because we can do this now. I swear we can do this. Uh, yeah, I'll be back when we've got a couple more. I, I might not actually open the dice, and I'll save them up. It's always nice to have like a uh, like an opening session. So let's do that. Back in a bit. Almost done. Come here. I'm just using my sword, by the way, because it's... Okay, there we go. He, he gone. Did I pick that up? Oh, I did. I picked up everything instantly for that one. That is fine. Cool. Right. Now we can fly back over here, because I've used up all of the Gaia that I'd already made. Did get loads of runes, which was... Pretty nice to get. Also, I didn't notice. I noticed just just after that last the, the kill before last. So, Davrot, no. So will of. So it wasn't just Darok, which is in Runescape at least. When you have really low health, you can hit really really hard if you're wearing a full set of Darok. Um. I won't go into that because not everyone's going to be playing RuneScape. But we also got Carols, which critical hits apply with their effects. Amazing. And Varrock pierces armor. So <laughs> all of these are very. I wonder if there's. Oh, actually, I'm going to look it up. There's one for each of the Barrow Brothers. That's amazing. Arums applies strong weakness effect. That's Darok. Guthins heals you. It's still pretty good in old school, I know that. Torags is the slow. And Carols, yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I, like the, I like that that's in here. Uh, I probably went over that far too much. Oh, no, shaders. I, I kept hold of the shaders because it's always fun to open stuff, right? So what do we get? Kindled. Dark Fire and Usurper again. Nice. And now let's open up. It does look like you get them in order. So Odin was the last thing that we got. I still want to know what this does. Actually, we've got the book. So we can look it up in the book. I'm guessing this is just like an infinite ender pearl, maybe? Unlike the crafted Flugel Tiara, the Eye of Flugel contains primordial Flugel magic. Magic strong enough, in fact, to harness the Flugel's ability to recall themselves to a previous visited location. Holding right click with a bound eye will then use mana to warp the owners back to that location. Okay, so it can't do across dimensions. Okay, so if we used our tiara that we've already made and we held this in our hand it won't use any of the light things that were above the ham hocks previously awesome uh, let's look at what the ring of loki does as well yeah it just like swaps blocks out it's quite interesting and then the ring of odin which just gives you oh hello what's this right so we're uh, with 10 extra hearts of health and indefinite protection from various kinds of elemental damage, including drowning, suffocation, fire, and starvation. That's insane. You'd find a ring slot. Oh, that is a ring slot. Nice. It's probably still going to give us the uh, slowness effect, though, right?
Yeah, mining fatigue and slowness, that's a bit of a pain. Oh well. Still pretty awesome. Oh, I hate the point of the field of view that it puts you in when you, you've got slowness. But yeah. I like that. That's That was pretty fun, I must admit. I think we're done with the Gaia though for a little while. And we are probably done for this episode. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Next time we'll have a go at doing the Chaos Guardian. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.